These Easter cupcakes are perfect for making with kids and are topped with a pretty chocolate nest filled with mini eggs. So the first thing we're going to do is cream together the butter and some soft brown sugar. You want your butter to be at room temperature so that it can whip really easily. And I'm using soft light brown sugar because it has a much nicer, kind of more caramelly flavour than just ordinary caster sugar. So I'm going to use a handheld electric whisk to just blend these together. You want to cream your ingredients for a couple of minutes until they're really light and fluffy. I'm going to add two eggs, one at a time, whisking well between each addition. I'm going to be flavouring my cakes with honey and spice. So I've got some runny honey here, which I'm going to pour into my batter. I really like the flavour of honey and I think it gives a really nice sweetness to the cakes. So once that is mixed in, we're going to add our dry ingredients. So I've got some plain flour, which I'm going to sprinkle in. And then we need two teaspoons of baking powder. And then one teaspoon of mixed spice. Use the whisk to combine them until it makes a thick paste. and then loosen it up by adding a little bit of milk. You can smell all those really lovely spices. Then once that is nice and smooth, you're ready to spoon it into some cupcake cases. So I've got two spoons. Try and make sure that each one has the same amount of mixture in it so they bake evenly in the oven. And these are gonna bake in my preheated oven for about 20 minutes. Whilst the cakes are baking, I'm gonna make the topping. So I've got some vermicelli nests and I'm going to be mixing them with some melted chocolate. So carefully tease apart the noodles. And let them fall into the chocolate. You can also do this with a shredded wheat cereal or anything like that. But I really like the effect that you get from using this pasta. And mix them in with the chocolate. So I find it easiest just to get messy. Get your hands in there. This is really good fun for kids to do. Divide these between the 12 holes of a muffin tin. This time I've lined it with a sheet of cling film, forming each one into a rough nest-like shape. So your hands will need a good wash after that, and then pop your nest into the fridge to chill until firm. When the cakes are baked, remove them from the oven and allow them to cool completely before you begin to decorate. To make the buttercream, cream together some softened unsalted butter with some icing sugar adding it a little bit at a time so it doesn't puff up everywhere. Add some milk to loosen up the mixture and make it easier to eat. And then continue to whisk until it's really light and pale in colour. So I'm going to be colouring my buttercream a pastel green, so I'm just going to add a little amount of green food colouring. Spread the icing all over the top of the cooled cupcakes, leaving a border around the edge. Peel the nest out of the cling film and top each cupcake with a nest and then fill with a few chocolate eggs. Continue to decorate all of your cupcakes until you've filled all of the nests with mini eggs. Don't forget to subscribe for loads more great recipes.